name is Farah Skype and I am a photographer and creative director here in Washington, D.C. is how so many different subcultures intersect and they have intersected in my life in very interesting ways. For example, uh, being in a queer punk band with one of my favorite drag queens in DC. Uh, drag connects us to music, it also connects us to fashion, and you can actually see that in a bunch of the pieces on this wall where there are a bunch of these intersections happening in real time. This embroidery portrait by Evan Ibrahim. I know of Evan because Evan uh, was making incredible clothes worn by the drag queens that I really liked in DC. I, I don't know if I watched a full episode of Wheel of Fortune, but... When it came to curating this wall, I knew very specifically that I wanted to primarily feature uh, Black, Indigenous artists, artists of color, or different experiences in DC. But one of the first things I was drawn to was this piece called Self Care by Trap Bob. Uh, I worked on this uh, curatorial project during the pandemic. So the idea and this image of what self-care can feel like and look like really called out to me, especially the colors. Next we have The Our Family by Jazz Jout Singh. I often get these images stuck in my head, the same way you would get like a song stuck in your head. And if you go over here, <laughs> we have the Reggie Black piece. And I was especially excited about this because I am a tote bag quarter. So just imagine being on the metro, having a really crummy day, and then looking up and seeing the stranger's tote bag that says, most of the stuff you're worried about will never happen. Cool. Sorry, it's a little, a little stiff. Uh, Big Shop by All Very Goods. Wearable art is very exciting to me. Scarves, bandanas in this case. And the idea of a big chop for black women getting rid of maybe hair that's been processed, gone through a lot, and being able to kind of start from scratch with natural hair. Um, so I'm great at hoarding electronics, and that goes the same for my iPod Classics, unfortunately. I mostly keep them around, I kept this one around, my first one, to remind myself how bad I wanted this thing at the time. RIP to Prince, it's been a few years. Finding this Love Sexy World Tour <laughs> ticket from 1988, was mind-blowing and i really hope that we have a moment where somebody walks into here and walks into this room uh sees this ticket and goes oh my god i was there this is much bigger than me uh not just literally but also literally i, I really hope people come away from experiencing this with uh new ideas about the city especially as we are a place that people have very limited ideas of as a place for government as a place for tourism uh, we are clearly so much more than that